Hi, it's Kim from Chatterbox Quilts. If you've been following my YouTube channel, you know that I love to collect vintage sewing machines. And I was in the market for another one. I was looking for a Model 15 sewing machine and I found a 1591, but there was just one little catch. It was in Edmonton, again, and uh, that of course is a three hour drive from Calgary. So I was thinking I would like to get this machine, but again, it's in Edmonton, but my husband was going to be up there on business in a little over a week. So I contacted the seller to see if he would consider holding it until my husband could go pick it up, and he said he would. This machine is actually a 1591. Singer made several different Model 15 machines. Um, this was made probably around 1948. Um, like the 201 I'd recently acquired, it has this huge throat space, great for free motion quilting. Also has the ability to drop the feed dogs by turning a screw underneath the, the uh, base plate. Um, unlike the 201, this has a drop-in bobbin. And also the different thing is that it has the tension assembly at the back, whereas the 201 is on the front. This one has a motor on it, does not have a belt drive, it's a direct drive motor. Um, that also gives you room in this throat space because the other uh, type of motor is typically affixed here and sticks out a little bit. So this would be great for free motion quilting. And I picked up a generic uh, free motion foot from SewClassic.com and I have been doing some free motion quilting with this machine and it works great. The stitches are fantastic, easy to use. I'm really thrilled with this machine. And of course, you can see what great shape it is in. The decals, the gold on it, beautiful, as is the chrome. It is an excellent shape, this machine. And it's a good sturdy all metal machine as well, very heavy. So good thing it's in a cabinet. Um, when I got this machine, it came with a few other things that I was really excited about. First off, with the typical little green box with all the accessories in it, which is great. In addition, it came with the blind stitch hammer with the manual. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of a funny looking little attachment. I'm really excited to try this out. It's gonna do a neat little blind hem stitch because the 1591 is a straight stitch machine, so it's not gonna do you know zigzags or anything like that, but this one will make it do that blind stitch that is so helpful. Also, it came with this little box, a little generic um, something that helps make your buttonholes and darning easier. It's actually like a little embroidery hoop. So when you would use this for darning or to do um, embroidery on machines, and this goes over, you take your foot off and this will go over uh, just to go around your needle. So I haven't tried this out yet, but it's got the instructions too, and it looks like it's going to be lots of fun. And I got a bench with it too, and inside the bench were whole bunch of different vintage patterns. So these are lots of fun from the early 1950s. Uh, I think these are great. And came with a bunch of little cellophane packages. These are actually Singer sewing lessons. So there's quite a few of those and some of them are partially done and some of them have, you know, they have the vintage fabric in them and everything. So that's really cool as well. So I was thrilled to get this machine. It's in excellent shape. It sews incredibly well. And it's the last vintage machine I'm going to add to my stable for now. If you want to learn more about the other vintage machines I have in my studio, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.